Janice, are you there? At your service, sir. Enter the manosphere. Of course. How can I assist you today? Give me some of that dating foolishness. Will do, sir. Like, bring back masculinity. Bring it back. Where is she? I miss her. Bring back chivalry. Bring back gentleman-like. And I know people are going to be like, well, that was feminism. Welcome to Manosphere Highlights Daily. Today we're diving into a video titled, Why is dating in Australia so miserable? Now the original video is 45 minutes long. Link is in the description. But we're going to give you the highlights and of course drizzle in my thoughts on the foolishness these women are spitting. As I always say, women will always tell on themselves. Just let them talk long enough. So we'll let them talk for about two and a half minutes. So brace yourself guys. Let's go. When she's dating in Australia. Dating in Australia versus dating anywhere else. Guys, I just came back from overseas and like, God, like it's such a different vibe. It's, it's actually scary. It's here. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's really scary. I just know, and I know so many people that are moving overseas to find the love of their life because mm. they're just not meeting people here mm. that a put their emotions on the line and actually like put themselves out there. I was speaking to my girlfriend mm. and she was saying she went out on the weekend. She saw this guy that we both knew. Didn't give her anything. Didn't say one word. And then when she got home, he was messaging her how beautiful she looked, all this stuff. And she was like, where was that energy when mm. I saw you? It's so unattractive. And it's just so like the Australian man, so scared to put himself out there, mm. so scared to get rejected, so mm. scared to do anything. Like what would go wrong with you going up to a woman and telling her she's beautiful? Like what's the worst thing that's going to happen? She's going to be like, Go away. Like everybody likes to hear that they're beautiful rather than in Lebanon or even Europe. Like men do the most totally. to get your attention totally. and to keep your attention and to like wow you, to impress you. It's like here there's like no desire to impress a woman. It's like take her out, kind of not make a plan, kind of not make effort, kind of put the ball in her court yeah. or too afraid to go up to her. And then it's kind of all on her to steer it. And then you end up fucking her over anyway because you're either – I don't know, stingy, lack of effort. It's just like very low maintenance, very low It's effort, low risk, low, low reward. Like what men are you winning here? Yeah. You know, like how is this man going to protect you? How is yeah. this man going to be the person that raises your children, raises your mm. boys, raises your girls? How is he going to be the king of a do- in a daughter's eyes? Mm. I really wonder that. Mm. Like, that for example, I went yeah. to the gym in Lebanon. I was working out and then I was waiting for my Uber at the front. This guy was trying to get my attention was like, you catch an Uber, no way. I'm going to get my driver to drive you there. And like, he was just so gentleman the way he went about it. I was like, no, 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 because I didn't know him. And then I was like, okay, like whatever. And then like, <laughs> it's so and weird. then when I got there, he got the driver to message him and he messaged the driver saying, ask her for a number so I can make sure that she gets to a friend's place. Okay. Like he did it in a very smooth way. It was very mm. thought out. And that's like every second person. Mm. They're doing the most to impress you because they know that like, Men are hunting. It's a very classical, let's say, biological, gendered, back in the old days where men try to impress you. Mm. And yeah, I don't know what it is here. Like, it's really just not. Well, we were talking about the other day about how it ties into like modern masculinity in Australia and yeah. how the lack thereof for yeah. majority of men, obviously not all men. Now, here's the question I want to ask you guys. What did the guy in Lebanon gain from treating this woman like a princess. I mean, she got a free ride and a massive ego boost. But what did he get in return? She's still single. And did you notice her friend's reaction when she said she took the guy's offer for a free ride home? I was like, no, 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 because I didn't know him. And then I was like, okay, like, whatever. And then, like, <laughs> it's so and you. then when I got... Remember her friend's words. This is so you. I'll circle back to that in a bit, but let's keep rolling. But what I find really humorous is how many guys like are so scared of a woman being a gold digger when they have nothing to their name. Like, babe, if a woman's going to be a gold digger, it's not going to be like to a guy who doesn't really have gold. Like get the gold and then be scared of the digging. And men who actually have the money don't care. They know that like you know women are expensive and it's nice to be treated well and they find enjoyment in that but it's always the brokey babe like my ex it's always the brokeys that are like she's using me for money babe what lexi's ex speak on a girl so my ex in his 30s owned a play red flag alert 
This is exactly where modern women lose their value. Most men make average money. And if you're earning an average wage, you can't blow it on boosting a woman's ego. Seriously, what did that Lebanese guy get for giving this woman a free ride and stroking her ego? It cost him money for what exactly? And this gentlemen is why men are starting to see women for recreational use only because all these women have to talk about is romance, the romantic side of dating. I was like, no, 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 because I didn't know him. And then I was like, okay, like whatever. And then like, <laughs> it's so and weird. then when I got, show me the money! At like the difference and like, okay, so I just came back from overseas went on dates and like just how gentleman like it is how mm. sweet like it's just such a different vibe it's such a different vibe it's like actually being so appreciated and valued mm. and desire and open emotions and like very clear say. and intentional and like you know i was on a date with this guy and then we went on a couple more dates and he was like even in front of his friends he's like look how beautiful she is i'm mm. the luckiest man in the world speaking in such affirming ways mm. like as soon as i saw him he's like wow you're gorgeous like just like men in australia don't do that men in australia no. like they're, they're stingy with money stingy with compliments stingy with love stingy with everything and that's why mom says like be scared of stingy people because they're not mm. just stingy with money they're stingy with everything else like <laughs> But where's the relationship in all this? She's still single despite being worshipped in Lebanon. The guy did everything she wants Australian men to do. Yep, she's still single. It's not <laughs> logic. Western men are catching on to something. It's called the juice ain't worth the squeeze. Why spend your hard earning money worshipping a woman? Givers need to set limits because takers have none. There's two sides to this, right, though. There's, like, not being affirming in the way that they date, but then also being so, like you said, so unclear with emotions, so, like, you know... Scared <sighs> about the boys, we're losing a soldier. Like, even one of my friends, he's just kind of getting into a relationship. And, of course, his other friends are like, oh, we're losing a brother. We lost oh one God. of the good ones. It's like, don't you want your friend to be happy? Yeah. Don't yeah. you want your friend? Aren't you celebrating that? Or mm. is it like, are we all just, are all men in love with each other? And then, you know, when they get married, they're just crying on the side that they lost the love of their life. Being their friend, the guy. Like, don't. I don't understand it. It's that Boise culture. Oh, babe. I, um, That's what it is. It's Boise. It's not it manly. Like, bring back masculinity. Bring it back. Where is she? I miss her. What the hell is she talking about? Bring back chivalry bring back gentlemen like and i know people are going to be like well that was feminism okay women wanted the right to work women wanted the right to vote women wanted the right of being viewed as a whole human mm. but at the same time we're not biologically equal in a sense that our bodies are completely ruined by childbirth this little snatched waist no longer stretch marks mm. i don't even talk about the coochie because like i'm gonna miss that girl like i've heard it's different stretch I'm marks so scared little you know like everything changes and then you know not just talking about the physical toll of all of that mm. the mental toll mm. the life dedication like mm. it is a lot more you know to be a mother to, for a woman to become a mother than a man to just yeah and become a father yeah so in saying that, because of the biological inequality, it doesn't make sense that now men have somehow moved away from the one responsibility that they've mm -hmm. always had, which mm -hmm. is to provide mm -hmm. and pr protect. Mm -hmm. You want to get away from that? No, 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 no. Get back in that seat or else what's your purpose? Mm -hmm. Just to... Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Is that your only purpose well, in the picture? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Ephemism didn't lead with biological differences. They led with equality under the guise of oppression. And this is why every man should read The Manipulated Man by Esther Villar. Because women weren't oppressed. They used men to do their bidding. Then, when the world developed to the point where women no longer needed their husbands to survive... They decided they wanted it all. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. 
And that's exactly what we're hearing from these women. They want the perks of equality without the responsibilities. This is why you lose brain cells listening to these women. There's no such thing as special treatment if everybody's equal. The role of protector and provider came from a time when women couldn't protect or provide for themselves. That's why housewives were content. It was safe. And as I've said many, 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 many times before, protection is also prevention. It's about preventing bad things from happening. But try telling that to these modern women. They'll call it oppression. Look at how this woman's dressed. Her cleavage is on full display. Girl, cover yourself up. This is the part of masculinity women don't appreciate. That's also why she's not interested in dating a man from Lebanon. She's too used to Western cultural values. And then they act surprised when men objectify them. Look who's talking. Check this out. So expensive for a woman mm. to get ready. Yeah. Chances are you've asked her to go on that date because of the way that she looks. Mm. Like, do you think we wake up with this hair? Do you think mm. this eye makeup just, you know, is there or this tan or this smooth ass skin? Like mm. all the things that you physically liked about her cost money base. Yeah. It cost a lot of money. Like yeah. all of these things. So I don't know. I just, yeah, I we've spoken about this it. so much, but like, I don't know how it doesn't make you feel so good as a man to be like, I want to take you to Yochi or to whatever you want. If you know, like if you don't have the money, don't but go to Yochi. That's lack of masculinity because it would make a masculine man feel amazing knowing he was nourishing you, knowing he was taking you out, knowing he was caring for you in some capacity, making you feel happy, like get as much as you want because it makes you feel good. Therefore it makes me feel good. No, I'm worried about what, how much it's going to fucking judge. This is where that solipsism we talked about in the video with Lauren Chan comes in. The inability to understand someone else's point of view. Women put themselves in front of the object thinking it adds value to them. Just like this woman who thinks spending money on herself and walking around with expensive clothes makes her valuable. But who's objectifying who? These women focus so much on looks and materialism that men get more enjoyment from playing video games. At least video games have substance, unlike these two. So I can like right now we're at a time where there's so many people that aren't having kids. Mm. Everyone's single. It's like the most unmarried fucking generation. Yeah, wow. And I really see why. Like mm. I would rather be alone for the rest of my life mm -hmm. than to be in one of those kind of dynamics. 100%. And I understand why divorce rates are so high. Like mm. it's just not. A divorce rate high like globally or just in Australia? Globally, globally but okay. m mainly like Australia is really rising. Yeah, wow. And I can understand, like, people that get married young or people, you know, now social media has opened a whole new world of, like, comparison and whatever it is. There's obviously so many variables, but at the same time, I would happily never get married if it means marrying totally the majority of people that I'm seeing or how they are or how they react or how they treat. Like, there's such a lack of love, like, even between sons and their mothers. Like, mm. if he's not worshipping his mom what is that saying about you my friend mm. what is the future of you if he can't if he's not like my mom used to say this to me look at how he treats his mom if he treats his mom like a queen he treats you like a princess if there's a lack of capacity to love in so many elements what does it say about the capacity to love you yeah, where's the love where's but the <laughs> you see how her brain can't comprehend that men have the same thoughts men are opting out of dating and even the workforce but these women think men just need to man up for them they can't fathom that men no longer see them as worth committing to this woman is exhausting once you see it you can't unsee it when women talk about love it's not the same as how men love and that's why this entire podcast is just them whining about men not putting them on pedestals men who understand women find it hard to love them because women don't love you for who you are they love you for what you can provide and today they aren't even hiding it anymore we think in this like power yeah, dynamic true, true, true. that's so true and it's so strange number one women should always hold that power mm. men should always want the woman more even if it's a little bit but that's just men chase you, men come after you, men, whatever it is. It doesn't work when the dynamic is the other way. Mm. If you are chasing a man, 
that is not a dynamic that you should be in. Men should chase you. Men are taking you out of your family home. Men are asking you to get married. Men are taking you out. Men are whatever. Women are receiving those things. So yeah, women have the power to be like, no, like, I, I don't know. That's so sadistic and mm. disgusting. And mm. I hate that many bit of shit. Mm. Now, can I get a drizzle, 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 drizzle. Man, I we work it. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.